Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, it's been a little over an hour, and these guys have been primed. And as you can see, uh, all of the light kind of washes out the coloring here. Let's see if we turn it a little. You can see you can make out the the desert color. My rationale here is a lot of stuff they're wearing is kind of deserty colorish. I don't know where my white and black primer are, honestly. I probably need to buy new ones. But I've been doing so many Flames of War that uh, these work out fine. Now the real question, I haven't tested it yet, is let's see how our Scotch Tape Gambit worked. And the answer is it looked like it worked just fine. Uh, there's not the best priming in that area, as you can kind of see here. I don't really don't have macro vision, but as I'm tearing the scotch tape off, the uh, scotch tape did its job, and we have three really nice golds and shields, which I won't have to worry about painting or repainting. So, uh, you know, that might work for you. Probably if I'd spent time to make a much nicer, you know, more form-fitting uh, piece of tape, it would have worked better. But the point is, is it preserved the paint job they did, and uh, and kept the gold shields. So these guys are, are done drying. I'll have to clip them, clip them up and then start, you know, trimming them down to make them look nice. But next up are the Romans. And uh, they got bears. You know, and, and horses and such and so forth. But uh, the Romans also come with shields. In fact, they've got a heck of a lot more of them. And once again, they're nice colored and painted shields that I have no intention of messing up. Uh, slight addition is these guys also come. A couple of the guys have... This doesn't really make out as much detail here, but... Oh. But uh, this is actually a shield and the guy's up to his arm, up to his shoulder for a couple of these minis. There are four of these. I guess for four of the heavy cavalry units. So, uh, in those cases, I'm just not going to prime that part of the piece and... You know, it might not look perfect, but, you know, again, this is Arcane Legions. We're not going for uh, in Caravera Similitude here. <clears throat> in this case, I've decided I'm going to try uh, painting in plate mail primer. Uh, the theory being, of course, that uh, uh, any cursory examination of the Romans indicates that they're pretty heavily armored up with these armor plates, which is, of course, totally realistic, uh, you know, for guys riding on bears, I know. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to see how that works out. I haven't actually ever primed an interior series of minis using plate mail, but, you know, paint is paint, so we'll see how it works. It'll make for an interesting color base coat, uh, but, you know, we will give it a shot. And, uh, here we are, I guess uh, an hour, hour and a half on from our last part. Um, uh, I have glued and assembled the minis. Um... Generally speaking, not too hard except for a few things like these centaurs. Um, the arms had to be attached, as you can sort of see here. Sorry about the lack of macrovision. And then the shield had to be glued on. Uh, sometimes the shields are a little bit fiddly bits, but that's okay. Uh, generally, I really like the sculpts of these minis, especially for the size and the cost. They are really quite nice. Um... In fact, it, well, these guys are probably proving to be the worst because such a poor attachment point. I'll have to redo them. As you see, a couple just fell off there. Um, basically, they attach by a single joint spot there on the back, and it's very tenuous, and it's not really drying that well, even with the zip kicker. Um, I particularly like these dudes, who are actually two pieces and glued into place. The, uh, the rider here is actually a separate piece that glues onto the horse, uh, although his part of his leg is on the horse already, so it's not like you can mix and match or anything, but um, these, uh, these riding archers are really pretty nice. And you've got plenty of, uh, plenty of guys like this who are just, you know, staying around, buttering their shield, you know, going to come back with it or on it, that sort of thing. Uh, so, so far, uh, I've you know, seem to be going okay with these. I'll have to fix those blue guys again. Uh, but these came right off the sprues fine. You'll see, of course, that there's going to be uh, cases where the priming was not all that perfect. As you can see, this guy, it's not sure how easy you can see this in the light, but he's a little gray in spots where he can see the original plastic. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, this guy, you can definitely see he's uh, got the yellow primer over most of his body, but there are spots that were missed, like his chest and such. Um, I should point out that if I usually go for the, uh, the Flames of War stuff to be what I call table-ready, which is, you know, I want it to look not embarrassing, uh, so that, you know, you get stuff like this tank, which, by the way, hasn't had anything done to it other than priming. Even now it looks okay. You could theoretically throw this on the table, uh, but that would really look kind of crappy and cheesy and show that you haven't spent any real effort. So instead, uh, you know, they need at least a bare minimum of some detail work and, uh, and some uh, finishing. But for these guys, I'm probably just going to add a little bit of color, and maybe I'll dip them just for some artificial detail. But these guys, even more than Flames of War, which people kind of treat like fine china on the table, um, not only are these guys plastic, but these guys, the, the whole core mechanic of the game is to take them on and off of these little pegboards, which, you know, are going to have, say, something like this on top. And through the course of the battle, you're going to take them on and off all the time. So there's no real point in putting too much detail into them, uh, which may be what might be, you know, causing it for me the most successful game in the world is just because it, the mini painters can't uh, go crazy painting them because otherwise they can't play with them. And the people who do play with them aren't going to spend that much time actually painting them, you know, for the same reasons. See, any work you do on these things is, you know, at peril of being banged up, dinged up, or washed off, especially since, you know, they're fairly nice plastic pieces, but still plastic pieces. So, you know, I guess we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Um, but that's where they are at this stage. We'll be back later.